As we all get to grips with the 18th edition wiring regulations, I've just been sent a really interesting video clip of an installation of a new gas meter box. You can clearly see the pipe coming into the gas meter box is in plastic and it goes out into the installation in copper pipe. Under the 18th edition, we would class the copper pipe going into the installation as not an extraneous conductive part, therefore it wouldn't be required to be connected to the protective bonding conductor. In other words, the gas pipe doesn't require connecting to earth. However, the video provokes the fact that the amount of earth being removed around the new gas meter box, and if it was all to be reinstated, there was a chance that the soil could come back in contact with the metallic pipe leaving the gas meter, therefore potentially making that pipe work an extraneous conductive part again. So therefore there was a dilemma. Does the electrician install a protective bonding conductor to the gas pipe, or do they not install the protective bonding conductor? We're gonna go outside and look at my gas meter box, Mine under the 17th edition has the protective bonding conductor and clamp connected to it, as under the 17th edition, the gas pipe in my installation is classed as an extraneous conductive part. We'll then go on and look at the video clip and you can make a decision yourself whether it was right to install a protective bonding conductor or whether he shouldn't have installed a protective bonding conductor. This video is designed to provoke conversation within the chat on YouTube. I'm not suggesting one way or another whether it was correct or incorrect to install the protective bonding conductor. It's just out there for us to have a look at and some of the points that we're going to come across as we move through the 18th edition wiring regulations. Let's have a look at my gas meter next. So before we look at the video clip I've been sent, I've come outside to my own gas meter box and look at the setup we've got here. So have got the gas meter box here, we'll have a look inside it in a few moments. It looks as almost as if it's floating off the ground. We've got a metallic pipe going into the installation. In my installation that would be my extraneous conductive part connected to the protective bonding conductor in a 10 millimeter squared cable. However, the installation we're gonna look at, you can clearly see the pipe coming into the gas meter is in plastic and we have the same arrangement when we have a metal pipe going out into the actual installation itself. Therefore, under the 18th edition, we can class this as neither an exposed nor an extraneous conductive part. Therefore, we can remove the need to connect it to a bonding conductor. However, on closer investigation, the electrician was concerned about the amount of soil being removed. Therefore, when it's reinstated, he was concerned that the soil level may be brought back up to its original level, which was about where the pipe was, meaning potentially after he left the install, this pipe here could be connected again back to an external earth source, in other words, the greater mass of earth, making the pipe work under the 18th edition, therefore then extraneous. So there was some concern. Personally, I possibly think the soil wouldn't be reinstated that high because it would have meant almost burying the meter box itself. However, that was the concern of the video that I was sent. Therefore, the electrician went on, installed the protective bonding conductor, 10 millimeters squared in this case in a domestic dwelling, and connected it to the gas pipe. The concern was the pipe work was going to be an extraneous conductive part. However, under the 18th edition, they say where the pipe work comes into the gas meter in plastic and out into the installation in metallic, the likelihood is it will be neither an exposed nor extraneous conductive part, therefore wouldn't require bonding. The concerns in this video was he couldn't guarantee on leaving it, it wouldn't become an extraneous conductive part due to the soil level being raised. Let's have a look in my gas meter box at my connection to my protective bonding clamp and discuss why it's in there and not in the installation itself and see if we can see whether I have an incoming plastic pipe into my gas meter or not. Let's look at that next. So let's have a look in my gas meter box. I have my protective bonding conductor, which is not the best looking termination of conductor. It's securely in place, but off camera, I'm probably gonna re-terminate that user crimp in order to make a better electrical connection. The bonding clamp itself is securely in place. I'll check that. The label is present with safety electrical connection, do not remove, so all good. It's been connected inside the meter box. We see the extraneous conductive part goes into the installation itself. The other side of the wall, there is no pipe present, therefore the clamp couldn't be made within the nearest point of entry to the building, the other side of the wall in other words. And we have kept the clamp by installing it within the meter box, within 600 mil of the meter before any branch, so we can't see any T pieces in it, so we're okay from that point of view. And it is acceptable to connect your protective bonding conductor and clamp within the meter box itself. 
The meter in this case, we can't tell, but I presume it probably comes in a metallic pipe. I don't know, so I'm not a gas expert. So under the 17th edition, we had to bond our pipe work because it's classed as an extraneous conductive part. And in this case, it has been. So the 10 mil protective bonding conductor has been installed. In the installation we're gonna look at, you can clearly see the incoming pipe to the gas meter is in plastic. And under the 18th edition, the likelihood is that the pipe coming out of the gas meter, which is metallic, will not be an extraneous conductive part. And therefore under the 18th edition, the protective bonding conductor would not be needed. Let's have a look at the video and the concerns of the reinstating of the soil, which the concern is for the electrician that this pipe here could become an extraneous conductive part. Let's look at that next. This is a gas pipe brought in by a plastic supply. Brought into a cabinet where the supply side is in plastic, consumer side is in copper. At the moment the area has been dug out to reach the supply pipe work and then it will be reinstated. Once reinstated the ground will be brought back to its original level at this height once it's been back infilled which means that the supply authorities have left us with a copper pipe which technically will be at ground level so touching ground so therefore in theory there's still the potential to earth so although this is in a plastic supply for consumer safety I'll reinstate a 10 mil earth path back to the consumer unit MET the bonding clamp and protective bonding conductor were connected within the gas meter box. The circuit was safely isolated during the process of carrying out the work. The conductor was tested on completion of the installation and the reading achieved for the protective bonding conductor was 0.01 ohm. 